I'm Ryan Hubar. I'm originally from Chicago, but I live in Tampa currently. I have cystic fibrosis. I have a genetic mutation. You're born with it. Uh, terminal disease. Throughout my course of coming here, I had been not doing well overall health-wise and standard care sort of just, they wait till you get sick enough to need antibiotics and then they kind of bounce you back out. You go in, you go out. I wasn't in a place where I could get a transplant, so I was looking for other alternatives, some, just something really to help me feel better because they had done all they could do. And that led me down the road of stem cell research and slowly getting into that and finally finding care here. I had grown two bacterias that make you ineligible for transplant. They are infectious disease. And at that point, they don't like to even treat it because with those type of statistics they say you can oftentimes end up worse off just because the treatment's so rigorous that i came here i had uh, rona stem cells and then about a month after i was in the hospital for exacerbation related cf related and they did cultures and checks and the bacteria that had previously grown had no longer appeared the id doctor he said that he doesn't think I have it or grew it anymore. That would clear me in the need for a transplant. My energy level is so much better. My quality of life, I feel way better. I could do more and that's you know why I continue to come back and want to keep doing this because overall the treatment that I can get, I've tried everything that they've given me. This has helped much more, much more noticeable to overall quality of life of how I feel personally. This is really the only place that said, yeah, we'll do it. And, I'm very thankful and it's been a great journey so far. I would say out of all the surgeries and stuff I've had, it's, it's quick, it's relatively painless, and even the recovery, you feel good in like a day or two. And if there's any, anything else, he was barely making it before we seen you guys. And sure. now, not only is he a full-time student, they're giving him an award, a special dinner award at his college for being above and beyond. He has a full-time girlfriend. It just wasn't even a thought of a possibility at this time last year. We were literally in Gainesville looking for a cemetery to put him in because they sent us home and said the only thing we can do is hospice and home air. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Innovation Stem Cell in Texas. Never have we got this kind of success from a doctor's visit. You saved him, you saved my son, and I will never say anything different.